is the ace and I'm a skateboarder, punk rocker, hot rodder and I'm a custom culture artist. People ask me what I do and I tell them I'm an artist and then they go, oh what kind of art? And it's, it's weirdo art or lowbrow art or custom culture art. I can do realistic stuff as well. I'll paint monsters with bulging eyes one day and then I'll paint something super realistic the next. Ah, the most subjective matter on the planet. There can be anything. I just like what we do and what we create. I quite like that I've managed to find that like space that I feel comfortable being in. Hybro art, I mean, it's, it, it's almost created for the elite. Modern art requires so much explanation, but I like the idea that you don't have to explain anything. Like Ratfink, I mean, like Ed Roth created him because he's the anti Mickey Mouse. It's the underdog, you know, like there's fighting for attention, but doing it in such a crass, grotesque way that you, you, you kind of got to laugh. Like everything can be nice and that sometimes, but I don't want everything to be nice and fluffy and, you know, I like stuff that's a bit more raw and, and you know, it has so much more personality. Don't think about it too much, just go with it, it's fun. People forget the influence that hot rodders have had on society in general. I mean, Ed was one of the first ones to airbrush on a t-shirt. Because you've got to remember, back in the day, t-shirts were underwear, like it would be like a singlet you wore underneath a shirt. And because California was so hot, they couldn't wear their club jackets, so in the, in the 50s, he just started airbrushing their club logo on the back of t-shirts. <laughs> Where would we be without a printed t-shirt nowadays? It's like, those guys started that. The monsters and stuff from the banned comic books and horror stuff and just the juvenile delinquency. I mean, those guys came back from the war and they were, they were messed up. And so, you know, they needed that outlet to kind of, you know, like express themselves. And I'm glad they went down a weird route. <laughs> Ideas and inspiration comes from everything. Like, I never have enough time to do everything I want to do. This will be my regret when I die that I didn't get to do all my ideas. That's, that's the thing that kind of scares me the most. ADHD, man, it is like, it's insane. And it's like darts all over the place and I think that's re reflective of my art. It's not one type of thing, it's like, you know, I have that tangent, that tangent, that tangent, that tangent. That's the only way I can function. It's just, I don't want to tell you how mental I am on the inside. <laughs>